banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm reviewing Alleyway on the Game Boy. This is what happens when Super Mario plays a little too much Arkanoid. And can you ever play too much Arkanoid? No. No, it's a great game, and so is this. Alleyway. Alright, Nintendo gets a Lando Calrissian Star Wars glass for the music in this game, but a Jar Jar Binks plastic cup for the title. Alleyway? Really? That's, that's the best you could do? Alleyway? What does this have to do with dark, scary alleys? Nothing. It should be called... It's kind of like Breakout, except it's on the Game Boy and features Mario which would have been a far more accurate title that actually describes the game. Alleyway is a terrific brick-breaking title from 1989 on the Game Boy, one where Mario jumps into the little thing from Arkanoid and breaks, breaks bricks. It's Breakout. Except it's got some cool stuff like this, moving bricks to break. This whole thing is like one big tongue twister. Bowser breaks bricks between battles of Breakout. Try that's just stupid. Also, Bowser isn't in this game. But Mario is. Seems like kind of a missed opportunity, Nintendo, to call this game... Mario plays Breakout after several games of Arkanoid. And three beers. Let's -a go! Have another Peroni. Now, I'm not terribly wild about playing any brick-breaking or breakout-style game without a paddle controller for good analog controls, going fast or slow, but Nintendo does give you the option to hold down one of the buttons and slow your paddle down or make it go faster. It's just a very rigid control scheme when a paddle controller is superior, of course. Anyway, I like what they've done with the place. It even features color on the Super Game Boy. And some super rock and music with great stereo separation once again on the Game Boy. Except for some of those levels that don't have music. So just make your own. May I, may I suggest humming the theme from Moon Patrol? Oh look, it's time to change the color palette on the Super Game Boy, one of my favorite features. Now, for the most part, this is a pretty straightforward brick-breaking style of game that gives you a nice variety of levels. And it's a pretty easy game to get into, the first couple levels are fairly simple, but then the game just gets punishing. Not only is it tricky to control the paddle with the D-pad, but then they start dropping the ceiling on you and shrinking your paddle and making your life more difficult. But you play this game for the challenge, come on! Are you any good at breaking bricks in an alleyway before you're robbed and maybe saved by Batman? What a stupid title. Seriously, what a dumb title for a great game on the Game Boy. Now it's time for a shout out thank you all the way to Greece! where I'm most likely going to mispronounce this. Alleyway was sent to the show by Athanasios from Nia Smyrna in Greece. Hopefully I was somewhere close to pronouncing that. Thank you very much, Athanasios, because Alleyway is a terrific game. This is also available for download on the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console, or you can pick up the Game Boy cartridge out there for a pretty good price. It's worth it. Test your brick-breaking skills on the go in black and white or color with Alleyway for the Game Boy. Mm -hmm. 